a degree in economics and statistics and also has a diploma in sales and marketing. Currently, um, Linge is a small and medium enterprise preneur venturing in the business of selling spare parts and garage for three-wheel tuk-tuks. You are so much welcome to the program tonight. Okay, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Mm -hmm. As you say, Yvonne, my name is Wycliffe Koma Mulinge. Mm -hmm. I am a, a businessman mm -hmm. or rather an entrepreneur. My name, okay, I am a graduate from the University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Uh, where I got a second class upper. So that explains I didn't go into business uh. because maybe I failed in school or anything. So take us through your career life, the expectations that you had, and what is at hand as per now. First of all, I l I'd like to thank God and you for giving me this opportunity to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, I sincerely appreciate uh, In campus, mm -hmm. I, I thought that uh, maybe if you, if, you, if you study well and you're very serious in, in books, you'll be able to get a job opportunity out immediately. So after my coursework, I, I went for an internship at Consolidated Bank. Mm -hmm. And I was placed at, a, at, 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 at two departments. I was working concurrently with two departments. One was, uh, was uh, retail and SME, which involves small and media mm -hmm. medium-sized mm -hmm. enterprises mm -hmm. and marketing. So those are two the, 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 major, the, major, the major components of a bank. Mm -hmm. So from there, I, I, I used to see uh, when, when people are applying for, uh, for financing for their businesses, I used to see their turnovers and I was a bit intrigued by this. Mm -hmm. And I thought maybe this could be my, my way. This could be a path that I could follow. All right. So where did you get the courage to say that, you know what, I have to stop looking up to the papers that I have and get outside and do what I have to do? First of all, I know that you always need to have something that uh, drives you. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe even if I'm looking for a job opportunity out here, one, I have to look f for something else that I'll be doing part time because I used to see there are people who are making a lot of money out there and they are still working. So that's one thing that drove me. So I said, I'll, I'll, I'll chase the, bo the both of them and I'll kill two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's talk about the spare parts. Is it a profitable job? I must say it's a profitable job because uh, any time that you're selling anything that is, uh, first of all, is imported. Secondly, it's, it's rare. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to outsource the, 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 the items from abroad. And uh, they're, they're, it's not a basic, uh, basic commodity, mm -hmm. so they, it's profitable, I must say. What does it take to be an expert in this venture? What qualities and skills do I need to satisfy if I want to be an expert in this particular venture? First of all, I would say time is very important in this. Everything that you need to do, anything that you put your hands into requires time, mm -hmm. skills. First, you know, you, if, if you go to school, you get the technical skills. Mm -hmm. Technical skills, you get the book managing book and bookkeeping skills. You also get the managerial skills. So you can be able to manage, let's say, the human resource, the financial resources th that you have. Uh, marketing, marketing skills, you also get them from school. Mm -hmm. So school is not something that you can overlook in this. Mm -hmm. So you need first to be keen. With the, with the with the with the institutions, hmm. like so. For now, to be able to to to, to, to be uh, good at this, you have to put your time and also uh, whatever you learned in school, you implement it, and also be keen and enthusiastic in this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, with the emergence of a lot of fake products in the market, how y how are you people? How do you tell? that have purchased fake products every 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 product every pers every every company that has their products out there usually is aware that there must be be, be a counterfeit goods mm. now every company has to put checks and balances for the same say they have watermarks for their products right. they have uh, product awareness to their customers that this is how you can be able to 
to, to, to know a counterfeit good and this is how you can be able to to dis distinguish a counterfeit good from a genuine good mm -hmm. and uh, they are also the government is really helping us in that mm -hmm. because now KRA is really keen and Kenya Kenya Bureau of Standards is very keen on uh, whatever 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 goods are coming from mm -hmm. from other countries and uh, it, it it is really fighting the idea of dumping products that are substandard in our country. All right. Yes. So when you talk of dumping products, I understand that China has a lot of their goods in our market. Is this in any way affecting your business at any point? I wouldn't say China goods are bad. I wouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if it's not for countries like China, we know some peop some countries like us, we, don't ev we can't even manufacture razor blade. Mm -hmm. S but we can import razor blades from China. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they, they we have been using them for a while. Mm -hmm. All we can do is they are good chi products from China and they are substandard qualities from uh, products from China. Mm -hmm. What we can be able to do is be maybe try to be keen enough whenever you're buying. Maybe check the prices mm -hmm. and we will be able to to to, to liaise with the with the original producer of the of those goods to be able to check if this good is uh, is uh, counterfeit or not. Because there is a lot he out here. Even with, with the recent smartphones, you can be able to Google up and say, and maybe check if this thing is, is this thing what is supposed to be in the market? Mm -hmm. What is the price? Where can I get genuine stuff? Product awareness from the, from the manufacturer is, is very important. That's what we rely on. Mm -hmm. Yes, together with the, ex with the experience that we have from uh, maybe using, because let's say you have used something and you know this thing, when I use it, it will last for me two months, and this, one, this other one will take me like one year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So have these products, uh, the foreign products, like posted a, a higher competition in the market? Okay, you know when these goods come here, they're usually very cheap. And when they are cheap, it means uh, if let's say it's, it's half the price that the genuine parts are going to for. Mm -hmm. So if it's half the price that the genuine parts are going for, it will post a threat because many customers will be tempted according to their pockets. Because you see now, we are dealing with uh, small and medium size uh, uh, customers, mm -hmm. customers that are are, are 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 really not having a lot in their pocket, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, so it, it does affect by the they, 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 they if the products are there and they are cheap, they'll have to go for these cheap ones, and now they it will it, they'll have to learn through the hard way. All right, maybe you can take us through how you deal with legal formalities in this particular sector, the spare part trade how you pay your taxation rates and if there are any? Okay, uh, I have, I've, I've dealt with two people, mm -hmm. two people that, 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 that they import the spares. And they usually tell me that they, there is due diligence that is supposed to be performed at the KRA, where they are supposed to pay for the taxes, whatever it's supposed to be entering to the country. And, uh, and now, f for my part, I have, uh, like say, I have three premises. First of all, I have to pay the county governments for the same, for the business permits, mm -hmm. yes. So, uh, why did you decide to venture into automotives like the tuk-tuk? First of all, I, 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 I saw the market niche where people, the, 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 there was a lot of tuk-tuks coming around and there was there the spare parts were rare, mm -hmm. yes. Um, Maybe you can talk to us a bit about if maybe you're interested or are you willing to do another job in the near future aside from this and maybe what you studied for? Okay, I, I did have passion in economics mm -hmm. and I did have passion also in sales and marketing. Whatever I'm practicing is related in sales and marketing. Mm -hmm. Now, I would look for an avenue mm -hmm. whereby I'll be able to promote whatever, whatever I'm doing right now prosper. Mm -hmm. Let's say if I get an opportunity that is telling me whatever I'm doing or rather it's going hand in hand whatever I'm doing, mm -hmm. I will go for it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So are you currently like mentoring people because your, your story is one in a kind. It's a distinct story and it can give somebody a platform to raise up and decide, you know what, let me no not continue looking at my papers anymore. Have you had this platform where you speak to young people, encourage them, and tell them that education might not be everything? Okay, let me say education is almost everything. Mm. Yes, education is almost everything. And if you think education is not everything, try ignorance. Mm. Uh, so what I can say, 
I usually tell my, 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 my peers and the younger ones, if you are going to school, go to school with a passion. Mm -hmm. And when you're going to school, look for other opportunities that you can be able to exploit. Exactly. Now if you're in school and you have a passion in music, please do music and you are still in school. Mm -hmm. Because uh, a career will always save you, eventually. Now if, you, if, 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 if you're a footballer and you feel like you, you, and you're in school and you feel like you want to play football, do the same. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurship is a skill. And it's not, it's not a talent. So it's something that you can do and you can teach yourself while you're still in school. Mm -hmm. That's what I can say. Uh, let's talk about unemployment. You have been a, a victim of unemployment and you're currently running your business, yeah? Yeah. Have you taken the initiative of employing other people, especially the young persons of this? Y yes, most of the times I have tried to mentor people mm. Uh, especially last year, last year, but one, I used to tell people, come and join me on board. I have this idea. Can we try and, and, and push it? Can I show you how you can be able to make uh, uh, some, some money out of this? Mm -hmm. uh, can you be, and, and, and this, at the same time, when you're mentoring people, you should show them that you have satisfaction in this, whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I have tried to mentor people because now we, uh, when, when we are dealing with these tuk-tuks, you have to look for drivers for the same, you have to look for mechanics and technicians for the same, mm -hmm. and that's why I come, I come and mentor them. All right, now, do these people come while they know the job that they are coming to do? They have trained or you train them yourself? I have trained several. Mm -hmm. I've even trained a graduate, I've even trained uh, from Four Liver, I've trained uh, several people. Okay, yes. so graduates also show up to be trained. Yes. There's this myth that that job is specifically for those people that are that were not gifted with or given a platform to education. Is this true? No, it's not true. Mm. Because I would say mechanics, mechanics is a very technical thing. Mm -hmm. And it you, ha you 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 must you must be brilliant and have the 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 the, 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 the capacity to be able to to know how these things work and how it functions, and it is very technical. Mm. Yes. Uh, let's talk about technology and what you're currently doing. How are you using technology uh, platforms to ensure that you fight the setbacks that are there as far as the growth of technology is concerned? Could you kindly come up, come back again? Uh, how, how do you plan to, to work with technology to ensure that it doesn't like hinder your productivity rate in the near future. Okay, technology is something that we should embrace. Mm. Technology can never hinder whatever we are doing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, technology mm. is very important. Now, like let's say I have a client here mm -hmm. and I have to send them a parcel because sometimes I have to deal with customers that are very, are, 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 are distantly away from me mm -hmm. and I have to, to rely on technology, mm -hmm. like say M-Pesa for them to pay. Mm -hmm. If a person doesn't have cash, they can pay through pay bills and all that. Mm -hmm. Technology is very important in business. Mm -hmm. Yes. So somebody is asking me, <laughs> this job, does it require for one to have like a Facebook platform where you advertise it or you just use your person-to-person -person explanation? First, you must go to ground to the ground. Because most of the people you deal with, you find that they are not in the, the social media platforms. Mm -hmm. But again, it's a, it's a very helpful venture to, to be able to get to the social media platforms. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it really goes a, good, a long way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, now, let's talk about the government. What would you recommend the government to do to enhance penetration in this particular sector? First of all, government should be lenient. It's 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 really it's the gov. I would like to I would really love like to thank the government so far. Mm -hmm. It's doing a very good job, mm -hmm. in uh, because for them to allow, let's say even begin with motorbikes. Mm -hmm. No, your motorbikes came and they, they 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 have really employed many youths. Exactly. So I'd like to hail the government and really congratulate it on that. Mm -hmm. So uh, this this this. Let and, and another thing tuk tuks. If the government doesn't want these things to, to, to really be in the, in the country, it, will, it wouldn't allow them. Mm. Yes. But what I can say about the government, it could maybe try and um, uh, create a, a good environment.
for the for the businesses maybe through maybe trying to reduce the taxes mm -hmm. uh, trying to be a little bit lenient in mm -hmm. regards to uh the, 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 the not to not not be really strict in regards to the quality mm -hmm. and not to be also very lenient in mm -hmm. regards to the quality uh, now that we are t addressing the government what challenges have you seen in this particular line of business the challenges first is the counterfeit goods mm -hmm. the second one is uh support financial support capital yes mm -hmm. I, if uh Let's say an individual wants to buy a tuk-tuk. You need to have like 450,000 for one unit. Right. You see, that's very so expensive. Are that expensive. Yes. <laughs> if you go to, if you le, let me mention a company. If you go to the car in general, the 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 the, 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 the least one they are selling at 435 or something. 435,000 for a tuk-tuk. Yes. Okay. So. The government could try and increase and increase funding for the youths so that they may be able be to, 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 to acquire this one. Maybe giving interest-free loans, uh, uh, loans that do not require uh, many guarantors mm -hmm. or, or you don't have to have collateral, mm -hmm. but they do follow up for, for, for startup. And also the, the government could start and maybe finance startup businesses and do follow-ups mm -hmm. to see if they grow. Thank you so much, Wycliffe. Maybe as you wind up, you can just give somebody a word of, us, of, of advice, rather, that person that is out there and they're still in their cocoon. They think, I just want to do something that is related to what I went to school to pursue. Okay, I will tell you, first, first of all, you have to, to, pray to, 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 to pray to God and ask him to show you mm -hmm. the way. Now, if he shows you the way, you'll be able to maybe, if it's, it's your career path, he'll be able to direct you according to your career path. Exactly. And if it's another route that you have to follow, he will show you. All right. And I can tell you that just keep, 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 have, have hope and faith that mm -hmm. there will be a better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And whatever you put your, your, your time and your energy to, God will be able to bless it and it will be able to multiply. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's about putting God first. Yes. Putting maybe your efforts to what you want to do. Yes. And doing your best. Yes. Thank you so much, Rickly, for coming through. Okay. Really great insights from you there. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. It's an honor to I host you. I sincerely appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for finding yet another time to join us on the business desk and keeping me company. My name is Yvonne. Anula. Now coming up next is the Forex Report. Enjoy the rest of your viewing. <laughs>